Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's Tisha, we're gonna jump right into Vlogmas day six. And today I'm sharing with you another clown purchase. Um, so on Cam's Day, which is today, this is Friday. Um, this is really late on Friday. I came home with my two hauls. I've shared that with you because I was really excited. And I had a smaller box on the porch from Bath and Body Works and I had totally forgotten that I had ordered on the day they did the buy three, get three plus the 20% online with free shipping. So I ordered a few things and then I just grabbed two things on Cyber Monday and I haven't had a chance to film it. I like to film it because it's kind of just like a little, you know, diary for me to look back and be like, oh yeah, you bought a lot of stuff in that month. So I like to film everything. It isn't important. I know I could totally use it, but it was just sitting in a bag and I was like, I'm just going to combine this. So this is like an insignificant haul um, during the throes of all the big candle day hauls, but I just figured I'd share them with you real quick. Um, I did get a couple of really cute things. So we're just going to jump right in. So there were online exclusives available when I made this purchase, but I had kind of already made my plan or was in the works of making my plan for candle day. So I actually got like six Christmas candles that I didn't have yet. Um, so this one I did have, but I don't think the other ones. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so the first one I got was The Perfect Christmas. This is Fresh Cut Pine Cinnamon Sugar Toasted Marshmallow. I really, really love this candle for Christmas. This is the day that I burned this candle all day and I told you about my like fire hazard. Like I might put it out for a little bit, but like this is the scent that I have going when like in the morning when I'm having my coffee and opening his presents. Like, I just love this scent. I mean, I think we all have that candle. That's this candle for me. So I really like this luminary jar. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. So there's just six here, but oh no, these are not new. These are just scents I like. So I grabbed another blackberry cream frosting. I do really enjoy this one. This is fresh blackberry sweet vanilla topped with bubbly Prosecco. It's fruity and it's like a fruity drink. It's delicious. I really like this. It's the same style jar with the luminary packaging. So I'm just really excited because again, I just hauled all those candle day candles, but these I'm going to definitely be putting into use right away. So the third one I got, one I hadn't actually gotten, that was what I was looking at when I made that comment and then looked at the rest and I'm like, yeah, no, I have all the rest of these. This is Christmas cider, mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, um, creamy nutmeg and simmering cider. I smelled this in store one day and I passed it up for like one of those buy one get one days, but I kept thinking about it. I think I passed it up because this packaging is not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's pretty cute actually, I like in an ugly way or whatever. But um, oh, and the lid's super cute. I like that. Be keeping that lid. Um, I grabbed another brown sugar latte. Like this day must have just been backing up my collection. Freshly roasted coffee, frost milk, sugar praline. Like I said, nothing exciting here. But I'm still sharing it. But yeah, I absolutely adore this candle. I don't care that it's not new and exciting anymore. I like to have candles in my collection that I like to burn. This is one that I kind of like for that week in between Christmas and New Year's. Like this is, I like New Year's. I always do like a bubbly rosé or a champagne toast. I know that's so basic, but this one's really nice. Holiday Cheers has notes of warm vanilla, spiced rum, and a dash of nutmeg. And this is a very like eggnog-esque candle to me. I always keep looking at the notes thinking this has eggnog in it, but I really like it. Um, so I just grabbed one of those. And the last one I have here is gingerbread marshmallow. This packaging just ca calling to me, kept calling to me. I like that little polar bear. Um, and the lid is super cute on this one. This is gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar. Lots going on in here, but it's delicious. So I grab one of these every year. So I'll burn my last year one now and keep this one. And then I did, so there was a like a threshold to spend. I think it was 75 actually, because I grabbed a few other little things. So let me just set this here. So I have, so I saw Kimball and I think I even heard Cynthia talking about it. I grabbed a few more of these little pocket bags. I have this little tree that we, one year we were moving in between Illinois and Kentucky and we just had like a bedroom. Um, we stayed with Aaron's parents for a little bit while we got housing here and we had this tiny little tree and it, I still want to do something with it. So I decided I grabbed a few more of these. I'm going to make like a little Bath and Body Works tree. I'll share it with you when I get it together. So I did grab another one of these little guys, but then I also found they had, or whatever they had, I would say found and had, but 
This was, I think, online for sure. This was a little cup one. I thought that would be super cute on the tree. And I know, I'm sorry, my energy's a little low today, friends. I'm pretty tired at this point. Um, this is that little popcorn. I just thought that'd be cute on the tree. And I wanted some cute looking ones to stick up there. And so, you know, who has to go on the tree, right? It's a little s'more. So I grabbed those for that reason. I thought that'd be really cute. Um, on actual um, candle day, I used my coupons in store with the free 1350 product. So at one store, I grabbed the Fireside Flurries lotion. They were completely out of the shower gel. I was just going to get shower gels. It's been a while since I've um, hauled shower gels, but this I really do enjoy. So nonetheless, it was free. Toasted Marshmallow Pink Lavender and Cashmere Woods. I know I'll get my use out of this. That's why I grabbed it because I really do enjoy this scent. And then the other freebie, and I just threw it in this because that video is already going to be like a half an hour. Um, the other scent I grabbed that day from the first store was A Thousand Wishes. This is just one of my favorite scents. This is Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peony, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. So I just knew I could just throw these into my collection and get use out of them in between seasons. So, um, yeah, those were just absolutely free to me. And then on, oh yeah, this was another, um, coupon. I had that like free gift with any purchase for three fifty, and they gave me this cute little bag. I was really surprised. Um, I thought they had something else like in a, like a little travel size in the, um, like the little shower gels travel size or something, but this made more sense. But, uh, that's what was pictured in the store. But yeah, I'm actually super happy to have this. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it was completely free to me. Okay, so Cyber Monday, I was just looking, I don't know, and I found two candle holders I still wanted. I know I held all that stuff for uh, the buy three, get three Black Friday, but I really love this and I love to find different ones that will go with different pieces of decor for after holidays. I have a ton of Halloween stuff. I have a ton of Christmas stuff, but like in between. So this was $18.95 and I got it with 40% off. So I thought that wasn't too bad. And again, then I didn't have to buy six items. I was able to just grab that one. I don't know what this is called, like a geo diamond something, but this one was a fun find. And I know you guys, I know, like I have Christmas coming out of my ears, but I would love to show you what I've done with it all. I, it's not like, it's not a fancy house. Like we don't live in... By any means, and I let my son do a ton of the deck, do a ton of the decorating. So there's that as well. So some of it's like fifth grade, you know, art deco, like some of these candle collections. But um, I he has to participate because that's the whole reason for the season. But I did end up on that Monday. These were put out. There was like tons of them. This was thirty four ninety five, but I got forty percent off. Um, and I saved my coupons that day because I was candle day was this week that was like Friday so I was like I'm just gonna that's a good enough deal so um this was in pretty good shape but like they some of them are really banged up but this is the three wick holder so I just thought this would be super cute and I didn't have anything like this so yeah that was my big cyber Monday haul these two candle holders but that is it that is all I'm gonna try to make this one super short because you've been getting a couple of really long videos and my voice is going today I really hope with rest tonight and it was just candle day and a crazy work week that I am back to 100%, but I'm already starting to feel a little like sniffly. And so um, if there's a break in my contents, because I look like a, I look pretty sad when I'm sick. So I definitely will not uh, make y'all watch that. But yeah, I just wanted to share this quick little haul. This all showed up and now I get to put it away and stop spending money on myself. I mean, there's a few more things I have to haul. Like I got a sweet birthday gift from one of my subscribers here I want to share with you guys and um, a couple other things that have come from different sales and just never, none of the other videos I was doing seemed like the right one. So we're going to do another one of those kind of videos pretty soon. But other than that, um, I need to stop hauling so that I can start Christmas shopping. I am almost done, but um, that's what we're supposed to be doing this month, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. And like I said, I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know down below. Are you on a no buy, a low buy? How are we doing this SAS thing? Leave me comments down below because I'm trying to start to think about, do I not participate at all? Do I set myself a really firm budget? Do I wait to go like for a while, like wait to go into the sale so that maybe things are really marked down? I'm all over the place with it. So 
Let me know down below if you start thinking about sass. I know it's a few weeks away, but these weeks have been going super quick. So um, yeah, anything else in the comments always. I like to talk with you guys there. So um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.